right. We managed to climb up the peak. I mean, to hike up to the peak. It's uh, 2,270. Don't get me. That I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that it's accurate, but it's roughly there. Um, so this is the amazing area of uh, the Shar Mountains. And uh, why I think that this peak is the most amazing and this hike is the most amazing for landscape photographers is because you can find spots from which you can photograph almost all the highest peaks on this um, mountain range. So over there in the clouds we have the highest one that carries the name of uh, the former leader of the Yugoslav Republic, Marshal Tito, Josip Broz Tito. And uh, I don't know exactly the name of this one or the name of that one, but um, on this uh, this uh, hiking adventure mixed with photography, I am um, I have a guide, a guy that knows the Shar Mountains like the back of his palm. And uh, when I'm gonna be holding the um, the photo workshop here, he will be the guide. We found the spot for where we're gonna uh, put the tent and uh, we know where we're gonna shoot sunrise, where we're gonna shoot sunset. It's simply an amazing place because you come here and you literally cannot sleep because you do astro shooting, sunset shooting, sunrise shooting, I mean everything, you can literally do everything. There are also some little springs with uh, mini waterfalls that you can photograph. I mean there is simply everything to do here. And um, if you like this place and if you would like to join me on a photo adventure here, you can text me on Instagram or uh, send a message uh, on my email. And um, from here we're gonna jump into, into Lightroom because I wanna check the images together with you. And to discuss about the images, all the images you will see are done handheld, more or less the same aperture and shutter speed. And um, guys, I hope you enjoy this this video as I'm enjoying in the moment and uh, if you would like to ever visit my country, if you would like to come hiking and amazing landscape photography here on the Shar Mountains or, or any other mountains in the country, please contact me, we're gonna organize something and we can go together, camp, shoot and enjoy and of course Macedonian barbecue. Guys, let's jump into Lightroom. Wow, that was a long hike but beautiful. Guys, let's see uh which image is the number one of this trip i already selected i think 10 images um and i have touched in lightroom a few of them but i would like to do one of the images that is kind of my favorite uh together with you okay so this is my first chosen image and this is the guys these two guys that were um that offered us a ride up to a certain point of the hike and we were happy to accept because that part from the village to the part that they, they left us is very boring it's basically used by the um, by the villagers to go to their um, fields and to the to the huts where they are um, uh, keeping the, the sheep and goats so these two guys big thanks to them and uh, to their tractor for taking us to this point. Uh, if you decide to go on this adventure on photo and photo tour with me, they will be our drivers. This is our guide and these were my two clients for this trip. Uh, they are um, ladies from Hungary and they were blown away by the beauty of the Shar Mountains in Macedonia. Um, this image, I just only add sharpness, a little bit of increase the shadows. Um, lower the, the highlights and I think it's pretty done because it's just gonna be used on my website uh, where I'm offering the trips, the day trips from Skopje and um, this is my first selected image is just after these people dropped us off um, and uh, it's an amazing area you can see this uh, I don't know what type of flower is this one but it was amazing and um, so yeah, in this one I increased the orange color, lowered the highlights, shadows uh, were left the same and lowered a little bit of black. So I'm not really touching these images a lot. There is no need. 
I j by putting down the, um, the highlights I'm bringing back the colors of the, the clouds because I'm not take, not shooting uh, with the tripod so I cannot do multiple uh, exposures and then stack them into one so um, yeah when you do handheld landscape photography you need to play with the shadows and uh, and highlights more than you need to do when you shoot with tripod okay so this is my favorite image my second favorite image of the trip maybe you saw it on instagram and it's taken uh, towards uh, where the highest peak of the Shar mountains is um, so here i have increased the texture clarity the orange color contrast highlights shadows whites and the sharpness so this is very dramatic image i like i loved how the um, the clouds were framing my image and i tried to clean up my sensor here but it, but it definitely still has some dirt on it um yeah so this is my second favorite image already published on instagram this is a image an image that i i took of these bikers they were at the lake where we're gonna do the camping next time we are here i haven't touched this at all let me show you what will happen when i lower the highlights so i i guess it was pretty very exposured and uh, it's not doing in, any big change, but let me lower the whites a little bit. So yeah, now you can see that uh, some outlines of the clouds are showing. Let's increase the goof. No, 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 we don't wanna do that. Uh, let's um, increase the orange, increase the contrast a bit, lower the blacks. Yeah, I don't think that this image is nicely the, uh, ex exposed so I'm just um, gonna export it into JPEG and send it to the guys so they can have it I'm not gonna be using this one um, it, it, it was basically a quick snap of um, of the of the group and um, the next image is of those um, sheep that we saw and uh, pastor pastor or sheep Herder? I don't know what how is it called so you can see him here the guy is so tiny and look how many sheep he has like whoa all of the all of them here and he had lots of dogs so while we were going back um, I'm a little bit afraid when I'm in the mountains of the um, the sheep dogs or how you call them yeah, the other the the dogs that are guarding the sheep because they are very aggressive. I mean, they need to fight wolves and bears. So yeah, of course they're gonna be aggressive. Um, on this image, I have also applied a radial filter uh, that is keeping the area of the ship untouched and is only adding, uh, adding um, more contrast, lowering the exposure and adding clarity on the all other parts of the image except the one where the ships are where the ship are okay let's see the next image and um all right this is my favorite my favorite image but i think it's very bright i have already lowered the highlights let me try to lower the exposure a tiny bit um the blacks are also lower down to minus 15 the clarity ups to, is up to 30 I, I will lower it down to 15 and increase the texture a little bit the, the the sharpness and i wouldn't touch this image i mean it's beautiful i i don't see the reason why i i need to add more work in lightroom on it i really do do think it's it's pretty perfect i have increased the orange color and i think that i uh, increase the aqua color to bring uh, f in the front more the, um, the the color of the lake okay let's continue so this is my favorite image that will be used on my website for uh, uh, trips day trips from Skopje this is the next image that I've chosen and I'm not really sure let me see what can be done let's lower the exposure down to minus 40 lower the highlights increase the shadows a bit lower the blacks increase the clarity 
texture, increase the aqua saturation to, yeah, that's perfect. Increase the orange color, increase the green color. <laughs> it's pretty flat. I I don't know. I, I there is something that that I don't like on this image. I would have liked a little bit of sunlight, like you see on this one, this part where the sun rays are brightening the whole field here we don't have that so i'm not really sure about this image uh, this one is basically similar to the previous one just not that good because i don't really like this uh foreground here it's blurry let's continue another composition of the 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 lake Nah, nah, this one is not good. I don't like the composition. This is very low here. It's like boring space here. It sounds like something is missing and there is too much, too much in this part. So, okay, this part is actually very boring for me as well as this one. And kind of the line is not, blah, it's simply not, not good. Um, hmm. This is, uh, so this is towards east, uh, actually towards uh, southeast, and this this one is towards southwest. Um, let's see here when we lower the highlights, lower the exposure, lower the blacks, increase the clarity, increase the texture, increase the vibrance, hmm. increase the green. Hmm. I think this is nice. Let me see if I grab the brush and start painting over the clouds. What will happen if it's gonna be some? Oh, nice. Maybe that's too too dark in the foreground. Let me just a little bit erase this part here. What do you think? This is super zoom. This is hundred and um, oh no, it's actually not. This is forty five millimeters. Huh. Oh, actually, this one is taken with um, this shot is taken with the M fifty. Uh, actually, most of the ninety percent of the images are taken with the M fifty, except the one that you saw first. Uh, this one is taken with the Canon uh, M five, and um, it's fifty one millimeters. Yeah, I saw 100 f11, uh, uh, 400 of the second, the shutter speed. So I do think that this image is very interesting. Yeah, it's nice. It's not a portfolio picture. I won't use it in my portfolio. Maybe only that one that, that I just show you will be used in the portfolio. Everything else will just go in the website for the day trips. So this was basically location scouting. It wasn't a proper photography tour or a photography workshop or anything like that. It was just location scouting, hiking, trying to find the perfect spot where we're gonna pitch the tent and where we're gonna shoot. Uh, now we know for the next time. Let's see the next image. Boring, this is one of, I just uh, took this shot to, know, to document the peak that you can see here. I don't know the name. I just need it for the website. Uh, for the day trips, uh, this is uh, more close up of that uh, other part of the mountain range. Hmm. This one has a nice foreground, it's pretty sharp everywhere, so nothing is out of focus. So let's see on this one where we lower the highlights, increase the shadow a tiny bit, lower the blacks, increase the texture, increase the clarity, increase the vibrance, lower a little bit the saturation, increase the green. Increase the orange, blue is not touched. Hmm. Ah, it's a nice image, not a portfolio image, but definitely for the for the website that I'm constantly mentioning. Okay, the next image is uh, more or less the same uh, southeastern part of the mountain range. This is the the the, um, the guide. Um, yeah, I've touched a little bit this portrait of him. Not too much. I, I wasn't really paying attention. It was just a quick shot to to have a image of the guy that will be joining us on this trip. 
Um, so you can see my reflection here, the reflection of our clients in the other uh, part of the sunglass. And um, I have lowered the highlights to get, so I can get these parts here of the background to be more interesting. I have lowered the, um, I mean, higher up the, the shadows, increase the texture and the clarity. And there is also radial filter that is darkening the, the parts around his, uh, his face. Let's continue. Um, uh, this is a nice image that will be definitely used uh, on the website. So this is basically the whole uh, path along. We follow this ridge and we end up to a, a peak behind this part. So it's hidden in the clouds. Um, again, lowering highlights, increasing shadows, tiny bit, increasing the texture, vibrance done nothing more let's continue uh, i was experimenting something with these um old trees to see how it will be when um i'm here on the perfect light with the tripods and stuff so let's increase a little bit the the saturation on the orange increase the texture lower the highlights increase the shadows it's gonna be an interesting shot but uh, definitely it needs some light. It definitely needs to be in a better time of the day so we can have better light and more uh, interesting background. This way it's just very gray. One thunderstorm, if there were thunderstorms, it, will be, it would have been fun. Let's continue. We have uh, two more images. Um, I don't know why I have selected this image. It's Oh, actually, I know why, because I wanted to, uh, wanted to put on the website the place where we're going to set the tent. So it's basically this part here. I think I have a better image of this. I don't know why I have selected this one. So I'm not even going to touch anything on the settings. It's going to be deleted. This one, I just wanted to take a picture of the flowers. So if people that want to attend to this tour can see uh, the beauty of the flora in this area. And um, that was it. So the only images that I'm happy with that uh, might get a place in my portfolio are uh, this one of the clouds that were basically swallowing us and we were, um, we cannot see anything. So this was the shot when, um, before I, my, my, my view was totally hidden. I took the shot and then the clouds literally covered everything. The second image is uh, this one. I really like this one. I mean, I know that it's too exposed, it's too bright, it's, it's harsh light, but simply the image will be perfect for the uh, for the website, for the our apartments and for the tours around Skopje. Uh, we can see where we're gonna set the tent. We can see from where we're gonna shoot towards uh, sunrise or sunset that we can, we can nicely shoot the astro from here. I mean, you can see everything. We have the path that leads towards the um, the, the peak. Everything perfect. And uh, then is this image that I love a lot. Um, you can see the flowers. You can see the the trail. You can see where is uh, the trail actually leading us. Uh, beautiful, beautiful picture. So, guys, this was the this is the end of the video. Hope you're gonna join me on the photo tour here in Macedonia on the Shar Mountains. If you don't wanna take photos, you, even if you just wanna hike, you can also join us. We're gonna camp, we're gonna eat barbecue, we're gonna shoot astro, sunset, sunrise. The bravest one will swim in the lake and uh, we're gonna have a cool tractor ride. If you like this video, click like, click subscribe and see you next time. Peace.